My First Bible presents The Dream of the Pharaoh. Joseph stayed in prison for many days, but because God was with him, Joseph fell in the good graces of the boss of the jail, and he made Joseph the caretaker of all the prisoners. One morning, there were two prisoners who looked worried. They had a problem. What's going on? And they said to Joseph, We both had strange dreams on the same night, and there is no one to tell us what they mean. And so Joseph said to them, I can't help you, but God can. Tell me the dream. The first man had been the Pharaoh's cupbearer. He said, In my dream, I saw a vine in front of me. The vine had three branches. As soon as flowers sprouted from the branches, they turned into grapes. I had the Pharaoh's cup in my hand. I took the grapes, squeezed them into the Pharaoh's cup, and gave it to him. Joseph asked God for help, and soon he knew the oh. response. This is what your dream means. The three branches symbolize three days. In three days, the Pharaoh will set you free, and you will work as his cupbearer again. Yeah. But please, can you talk to the Pharaoh about me so they can release me from this prison? I am here unjustly. Okay. The second man, seeing that the first received good news, told Joseph his dream. I used to be the Pharaoh's lead baker. In my dream, I saw three baskets of bread over my head. In the highest basket, there were pastries for the pharaoh. Then, some birds perched themselves on my head, and they ate the pastries that were for the pharaoh. What does that mean? Joseph took a deep breath. God told him the meaning of the dream. It wasn't nice. The three baskets symbolized three days. In three days, the pharaoh will order for your head to be cut off, and the birds will eat your body. That's a lie. Three days later, the events occurred just as Joseph had predicted. Two long years passed. During that time, Joseph did not hear any news from the pharaoh's cupbearer. He asked God to help him regain his freedom. One morning in the palace, the pharaoh awoke startled. I had two horrible dreams. They were so realistic. I am sure they mean something very important. The pharaoh looked at his servants. Don't just stand there. Find someone who will know the meaning of my dreams, he shouted. The servants backed away in terror. All the wise men and magicians arrived at the palace. They listened to the pharaoh as he told them of his dreams. They studied maps, drew pictures on their scrolls, and shook their heads. No one knew definitively what the dreams meant. The royal cupbearer stood next to the pharaoh. He made sure his wine glass was always full. Suddenly, the cupbearer remembered Joseph. Your majesty, he said. When I was in prison, there was a Hebrew slave. He told me what my dream meant, and then it came true. He could help you now. The pharaoh nodded. Bring me this prisoner. Two guards rushed to get Joseph. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Huh? Hey. Joseph shaved and changed his clothes to meet with the pharaoh. Oh, wow. Once he was there, hey. the pharaoh said to him, I had a dream and no one can tell me what it means. Are you able to? No, I can't help you. But God can, answered Joseph. The pharaoh said, In the dream, I saw myself standing next to the Nile River. 
Then I saw seven fat and beautiful cows coming out of the river. Behind them came seven skinny and ugly cows. The seven skinny cows ate the seven fat cows. However, when they finished, they were just as skinny and ugly as before. But that isn't everything. I also dreamt of seven full ears of wheat growing on a single stalk. Afterwards, another seven dry ears sprouted and were burned by the hot wind. The bad ears of wheat destroyed the good ones. I told this to all of the magicians, but no one has been able to tell me what it means. The pharaoh looked at Joseph. Joseph looked down and prayed. Immediately, Joseph knew the meaning of the dreams. Your majesty, the two dreams mean the same thing. What? There will be seven years of abundance. Even the poor will have plenty of food. <laughs> but then another seven years will come. The crops huh? will not prosper. Huh? All food will run out. Everyone will be hungry during those years. Joseph told the Pharaoh that this would happen very soon. Your Majesty, you should put someone in charge of all the food in Egypt. Food that is left over should be saved, so when the seven years come where there is no harvest, people will be able to eat what has been saved. That way, they won't have to go hungry. What Joseph suggested seemed good to the Pharaoh and his advisor. Your God is with you in a special way. He helps you see what others cannot see. I think I can trust you. You are the right person for this job. You will manage my home, my people, and all the barns in my estate. There will be no one more important than you in all of Egypt except me. Then the Pharaoh took his ring off his finger and put it on Joseph. And he put a gold necklace around his neck. He then gave Joseph an Egyptian name. He was called Zafnath Pania. What? Which means revealer of secrets. Surprised, Joseph took a step back. That same morning, he had been in prison. Now, the Pharaoh made him his right hand man. Joseph was very grateful to God because he had always been with him. Comment and subscribe below.